We're going to talk to Carla Finland from Little Big Brands, and we're going to do one of my favorite segments where we go on the spot. We talk about brands. So what I'm going to do here as we bring Carla up is we're going to look at brands from the show, and we're going to take a look at their packaging. Carla, welcome. Take your mic there and pretend you're drinking it like a cup of coffee. Um, first brand. Hippies. hippies. Let's talk. You, you got to put this right up to oh, your right face here. there. Okay, and perfect. what we're going to do is we're taking a look at these brands. And what do you think of the packaging? Do you think it's? Do you think it drives trial? Do you think that it's good? Uh, if not, what's your feedback? Yeah, we think this is super exciting packaging. It's very disruptive at shelf. It certainly has a personality. You understand what the product is. Um, so this is a real category disruptor. I think so too. I, I really like the um, you know the hippies like dude <laughs> on yeah. this package or. Whoever this is with the eye, the chickpea with eye. The chickpea, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, and they recently, I think, did a, a really quick uh, package design revision where they added more flavor coating at the bottom, so it's even, e even easier to shop than it originally was. And 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 this is a new flavor called Nacho Vibes. What do you think of the color coding here for the for the flavor? It certainly says Nacho. Uh, it looks delicious, and uh, I I would definitely pick it up. This is definitely the color that was established by. The, the the Dorita, you know, by Doritos, by Doritos. as nacho cheese. So, Absolutely. Um, and, of course, this one, I think, is a is better for you. Uh, and I don't know if... And the, qu the question I have is, you know, because it's a better for you chickpea puff, is it actual cheese? Do we know? We don't, don't really know, know from Do the we packaging know? We here. don't really know. We don't really know from the packaging here. But let's move on to the next brand here. Thanks, hippies. Oh, Belgian boys love these guys. Love the brand personality. Love the brand story. Um, super easy to shop in terms of the color coding. You know exactly what you're um, picking up. I think the only thing that um, you know they might want to do is optimize the product photography here. Um, it could be a little bit more appetite appealing, but again, I mean, once you've had one of these, you know they taste good. So I like that it's made in Belgium. I, I and that you know they they put the authentic they put authentic as one of their primary callouts mm -hmm. here. Because when you get this and you taste it, it tastes a lot like you know the liege waffles that you get yes. on the mountain Very when authentic. you're skiing. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about this product here. Um, the co-founder is a woman, so she's she always says she's the Belgian girl of the Belgian boys. So I'm like, maybe it should be Belgian boys and girls. Yeah, I don't know. absolutely. Not sure. Got to get the women in there. Exactly. Next up. Shrewd food, love, love, love this name. <laughs> you um, love, you love a lot of these. You're <laughs> mad name. love. I picked yeah. all the right brands. <laughs> um, however, um, it's a super functional design, which is great because you you know it's good for you. I think the one thing that we might want to do is add a little bit of appetite appeal here because we try them, they taste great, but that's not coming through um, via the product photography. So there's definitely opportunity here too. Yeah, for me, this is a very sort of medical looking package. Exactly. Um, it it almost it almost reminds me of gum. A little bit. In the packaging, yeah. just the way that it kind of comes together here. I do love that Protein Crisp is the hero. And uh, the thing, though, is it's more of a puff than a crisp. A crisp mm -hmm. is a chip right. to me. Right. So I'm like, there, there's a few things here that are like, I'm, I'm questioning when I pick this up if I'm going to get what's actually in the package. Right. But this, you know, I usually trust the picture. Mm -hmm. the picture looks like a puff. And then I'm like, what is this thing? Okay, what 12. And But they do a really good job of kind of, exploding with 12 grams of protein, right. high protein, low carb, you know, right. and then it doesn't need to say high protein after 12 grams, I think, you know, there's a little bit of repetitiveness right. on here. There's some places that we can kind of take this down, maybe Absolutely. add some more white space. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, I think overall we'd just like to see some more appetite appeal on here because mm -hmm. we tried them and they, they taste great. It's just not coming through. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Maybe more of these protein crisps on the front. <laughs> um, but, but the good news is that what's inside is awesome. So. Uh. If thincers. they can get you there. Oh, Thinsters. This sounds familiar. We didn't just talk about them. Yeah. Uh, so here's Thinsters. What this do you think? This looks like light, delicious snacking fun. This looks like you can have a chocolate chip cookie and not feel guilty about it. Um, mm -hmm. the, the type is very telegraphic of kind of the, the, the product offering. Um, so yeah, overall. I like this packaging. Job. The yellow says peanut butter to me. Um, okay. So I'm not like thrilled with the yellow, mm -hmm. but I do love the packaging. I do love the, the, the chocolate chips. Um, throughout, it's easy to see that it's chocolate chip because yellow is the first color that your eye sees. Right. 
And then also, uh, but for me, these, these cookies, I don't know if these are the actual cookies that are inside. They don't look thin enough to me. The ones inside, just feel super like, thin. Yeah. Super the beautiful. yellow and brown, though, takes me back to kind of uh, a more retro feel, which mm. makes it feel a little bit more um, homemade, mm. small batch. Um, and they have a Grateful Dead partnership that doesn't show on this packaging, but mm -hmm. the, the the other packaging is pretty cool. So, I give them good. I give them good marks. I yeah, like the Finsters like product. I, I think we're just nitpicking here. What do you think of the Jimmy bar, Skinny Jimmy? Skinny Jimmy. Um, I think when I, when I first take a look at this, I'm not entirely sure what it is. The clean mm -hmm. protein bar kind of gets hidden there at the top by mm -hmm. the seal. Um, and obviously, it's important to understand what the product is. So yep. I think we'd want to move that down a little bit um, further on uh, the pack. But overall, like pretty clean communication. Um, it's to the point. So uh, my good. my beef with I, I love the I like the yoga person. I like the um, I like the call outs. I mm -hmm. think they're important call outs. I want to know how much collagen I'm getting. I don't know how much collagen. It's it's really hard to kind of find it on the label here. Mm -hmm. But I do think it tastes good. Once I I, I tried it, I think it tastes good. Um, and like you said, clean protein bars hidden. It's, it's because hidden. of the way, the form factor of the product on the single serve right. has a way of kind of hiding up it towards from the seal, you. It's right. inching up, yeah. yeah. So that's a thing to We'd think about. We want to get it down closer on the it's, middle of the pack. It's a thing to think about. Like we talked to Pan's Mushroom Jerky, and and those guys had their pans right up in the place where you tear it off, so the brand mm -hmm. would get torn away. Oh, you're right. And right, they, right. they fixed that. That right. was interesting. This one, Wild Willet. What is that? Well, it looks like it's for, definitely for kids. <laughs> Fruity beef jerky, playful papaya. Um, it is fruit beef, beef jerky. jerky. That's interesting. Yes. That's interesting. I haven't seen that before. Um, so this is this one is this. this is a category. Like these guys are creating a brand new cat subcategory within right. beef jerky, fruit beef jerky. Wow, I'll have to try it. So for me, I think. Fruity beef jerky needs to be the biggest thing on here. Mm -hmm. Playful papaya. Um, you know, you're coming in saying, oh, this is a papaya snack. And then you're like, whoa, it's beef. You should know that. Mm -hmm. You should know that because mm -hmm. vegans could pick this thing up, give it to a kid. It's all off. But right. I, I think, like, this is a very interesting product that's going to require a lot of education. So they need to, that needs to come through on the package. Right, right. The topography could definitely be clearer mm -hmm. um, in terms of what the product descriptor is. Let's move on to an Keep easier one. Jade Leaf Organic Matcha Fruit Bites. It's pretty nice. I get right off the bat what it is. Three really clear um, claims listed underneath. The product photography looks great. Looks delicious. Doesn't it? Looks great. I'm with you on that. It looks great. What do you think of the flavor call out? Peach mango. I uh, think like it this. Could be a little bit. Could be a little bit stronger. But I for me, I think this is one of the best flavor callouts we've seen really? because of three things. Mm -hmm. One is that it says peach mango. Yep. Two is the color's peach mango. Mm -hmm. And three, there's you a peach and a mango. Exactly, right, <laughs> yeah. right. And then the matcha in the green, it, I think like they've done a really good job with their color palette. Um, and it, it draws me in and asks me what's in it now. That said, matcha fruit bites, really? I, I was also like, are these going to be something good, or is it going to be like a fruit roll up inside? And I looked at the ingredient deck on this, and it's it, it's pretty impressive. Yeah, I feel it. So it drew. I felt drawn in. Did you do you feel drawn in enough yeah, to try I, this? Yeah, I would definitely rip one open right after we uh, we're done here. Put that here. in your pocket then. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you. <laughs> Thank you so much. How about lilies? Extra dark. Lilies. This definitely the color palette tells me it's super indulgent. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just want to. I want to dive right in here. There's a lot of kind of texture and dimension going on with this. Um, it certainly looks dark and rich. Yep. Dark and rich to me. Definitely a chocolate bar. Easy to see that it's a chocolate bar. Although like there's no picture of chocolate on here, which, you know, do you need it though? You know, it's chocolate. Yeah, I know, you know, in the section that, it, that you mm -hmm. find it in, I'm going to know it's chocolate. Right. Um, I'm trying to think of others, you know, like Vuj is probably on the other side of the spectrum mm -hmm. where you're definitely seeing chocolate on right. the bar, especially if there's bacon in the chocolate. Mm -hmm. Lily's is trying something a little different. But I do like, um, you know, the first call out here is this is chocolate. Right. And then the brand is the brand it. is here and it's big, but it's 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 white. And this feels like it for me, it feels like this pops out first. What about you? Uh, yeah. No, you definitely see the brand first. Um, followed by the variant and then the, the illustration. So there's definitely no missing that on shelf. 
Going back to Jade Leaf, they have a different product here. Jade Leaf, uh, yeah, saw this before. This this is great packaging. Love the color palette. It's super easy to navigate from from top down. You get the brand, the variant, um, the claim. So high high marks for this. Well, let's talk. Let's spend the last couple seconds here talking about little big brands. Yeah. Tell me, tell me about, tell us about little big brands. What what do you guys do, and and how can they, uh, how can the audience reach you? Yeah. Um. So we are little big brands. We're a brand strategy and design agency in White Plains, New York. We're actually a sponsor here at Nosh. So thank you. Please come, uh, come visit us over at our uh, brand surgery um, booth, and our website is littlebigbrands.com. And yeah, we hope to hear from you guys soon. Carla, thanks so much for being on. We really appreciate thanks it. Thanks so much for having us.